have a Schwing S45SX concrete pump. Now this is mounted on a MAN 4 axle chassis. This is made by Conrad and it's in 150th scale. Now these concrete pumps are always interesting to me. I think they're just, they're neat models in die cast. Uh, Conrad does a pretty good job. There's a couple other manufacturers that, that do make concrete pumps a little bit bigger. There's a, uh, I can't remember the manufacturer, Chinese brand that makes them in, I think, 140th and 132nd scale. I haven't gotten any of those, but they're still pretty neat in 150th scale. Now, this is about 10 or 12 years old, and it, it's right there in that time period where Conrad started to get a little bit more detailed, but they were still uh, built stout. <laughs> so this thing still weighs a ton. It's still just stiff as can be. But it's really a pretty nice model. It's got a little bit more detail than uh, what other concrete pumps had at the time, or at least from Conrad anyways. And uh, it's really pretty decent. Like I said, it's on a MAN four-axle chassis. Now, you really don't see any MANs in North America. I think there might be a couple floating around, but primarily they're a European truck brand. And you can see a little bit of detail on, on the... Uh, the frame here you see the motor and transmission you see the steering and you have the the linked steering there which is kind of cool it's very very stiff what's interesting is you have uh you know your pumpkins modeled and your your shaft between the pumpkins but nothing running up to the transmission so it's kind of interesting to have the shaft here but nothing in between uh but whatever it still looks pretty decent and you can see a little bit of detail from the the actual pump itself underneath here um you can see the lid for the, uh, uh, geez, I don't know what that's called, uh, hopper, I guess. Uh, overall, it's really not that bad. The tab, the, the tab, the cab does tilt up. We'll get that uh, up when we get this boom in the air, which, by the way, like I said, it is stiff, 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 stiff. I mean, Conrad just makes these cylinders uh, so tight that it's... You almost feel like you're going to break the thing um, trying to get trying to get the boom up in the air. Now this does have that weird um, the arched front outriggers which are really kind of interesting and it's neat to see it modeled in 150th scale because that's really uh, a strange thing to, to build in scale and to actually have it fit and be as tight as can be. Um, so Conrad did, really did a pretty good job with it. So the, the stabilizers are the old screw type. Where you just have a plastic pad. And you can see just the screw on the inside. So the, the nice thing is it'll hold itself up forever. The bad thing is it looks like it's a screw. <laughs> or a bolt or whatever. So, it's just the old style. That's how everything used to be. It's in the bad thing. It's just uh, outdated. Now, the wheels do look really pretty good. Um, like I said, they're, it's square in that time where Conrad started to get a little bit better. They really did. Uh, like here. These teeny tiny little cylinders for the stabilizers. Or the outriggers. Like, Conrad wouldn't have done that, you know, before this model. All right, so I'm going to try to get this boom up in the air without breaking it. Like I said, it is just incredibly stiff. Um, I have a concrete pump that's, good Lord, a little bit bigger than this one. There we go, that's a little better. So I have a concrete pump that's a little bit bigger than this one. And the first time I got it out of the box, the main uh, boom cylinder right here just snapped right in half because it was that stiff. And it's like, you know, it's it's cool that you can uh, raise it up into any position and it'll hold. Like, that. that's nice. I love it. That's cool. But good Lord. I want like to thing to actually last you know i want to be able to get it out of the box and pose it some way somehow without it blowing up so that was pretty disappointing but i actually got super lucky uh, 
the only time I've went to uh, MCATs up there in uh, Buffalo, New York, I was wandering around and, you know, there was a guy there that had a, a parts table. Just all kinds of neat odds and ends and whatnot. And wouldn't you know, there was a complete boom section for that truck sitting there. And uh, so I, of course, snatched it right up. Came home and it was pretty easy to get it switched out. But it's just the idea that, like, I shouldn't have to do that, you know? Um, I like Conrad models, but good lord, you know, let's, uh, calm it down a little bit. I think they're a lot better now than they used to be, but, um, they are amazingly consistent for just super stiff, uh, cylinders. So one of the things that is cool, like I said, you, you start getting a little bit more detail, like you see the cylinders and the hydraulic lines in there. It's minor, but it's more than what Conrad used to do. And the cab does tilt up, and you can see that motor inside there, which is pretty neat. The cab interior uh, is pretty basic, but I mean, it's you know good enough for what the model is. Really, like I said, this is square in between. No detail, great functionality to uh, great functionality and some detail. It's right there in between. In all honesty, this really is a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat model. I really like all these uh, concrete pumps. They're just fascinating to me. See that? Yeah, that's the way it goes. Let's see if I can get this thing down without breaking it. It always uh, goes back together easier than it comes apart. I don't know if it's just because it's getting a little bit looser, you know, because it's been opened up. I have no idea. One of the things that is really cool about these uh, Conrad concrete pumps that I think they do better than a lot of other people is the piping actually stays together uh, in all the places where it articulates. Uh, sometimes there's just a gap, and you can see that gap like right here at the main, at the, at the main uh, boom section here, but... Conrad, like I said, they do a great job with these pumps, and they're neat models. And this one is older, but it still holds up pretty well. Now, I would love it if I could get, like, a, you know, an auto car or a Peterbilt or a Mac, you know, cab over for the, the chassis. That would just be awesome. I mean, not nothing against man, but like I said, you just don't see many of those in North America. They're not terribly common. So that really would be the only thing that I would like to see. Uh, overall, it's really a pretty decent model. Anyways, that's about all I got for this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. If there's something you want to see, let me know. I might just have it. I got all kinds of stuff squirreled away in the basement. Uh, anyway, if you want to see more of what I got, please subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast. And thanks for watching.